Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Virtual Nunchucks. I am so glad you're here today. Today what I have for you is a little bit of news. Uh, EA Play was last night and for 49 minutes either you were bored to tears or you were kind of fascinated. Me, I was... Uh, depends on what I saw. Most of the time it's just a fresh coat of paint like Madden and FIFA and blah blah blah. But uh, there were a couple announcements that I thought was like, oh cool. Um, so so we're going to go over what I saw and my impressions of that. If you disagree with me, that's okay. You can always disagree with me in the comment section below or have a conversation about the things that I missed, the things that I should have been more excited about, whatever. As long as you're respectful, I will listen. Uh, other than that, guys, if you like the video, please consider subscribing and uh, like the video, of course. Hit that like button. Turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever content hits the channel because every Monday through Friday we do something gaming related, whether it's news updates, opinion pieces, um... Reviews and gameplay. Hey, that's what we do. And of course, we do talk about uh, disabled gamer features like uh, accessibility options and and uh, peripherals and stuff like that to help disabled gamers like myself. So if that interests you, of course, subscribe. Okay, so let's talk about EA Play. And again, I was kind of over underwhelmed by what I saw, but then again, I should be used to this by now. It is a EA Play. We get Battlefield announcements. We get uh, there wasn't one, by the way, but we get you know, FIFA and Madden and sometimes a need for speed, sometimes a thing, and not a lot of surprises, okay, is what I'm trying to say. There's just a lot of uh, recycled franchise. But, um, let's talk about what I saw. First off, the one of the biggest announcements that jumped out to me, and this applies to all of the games, okay, Steam and EA have come to a, uh, an agreement, partnership, whatever you want to call it, where they're releasing their titles on Steam. Uh, some will, some are available today. Some will be available as time goes on. So um, if you miss it right now, if it's not there on Steam right now, it will be in the future. So keep that in mind as we go through this. Also, all of these titles, with the exception of maybe one, and that happens to be, I think, the one of the indie titles, um, has cross-play available to you. Uh, and when I say cross-play, we're not just talking about uh, PC and whatever, Xbox. We're talking about Xbox, PC, PS4, uh, and in some cases, uh, Switch. So don't freak out, okay? So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that too. It's pretty exciting. So keep that in mind as we go. All right, so first on, uh, first off, they announced some Apex Legends changes. Uh, starting on June 23rd, they'll have a new collection event called Lost Treasures. Uh, they're also going to introduce a new hero, a uh, new legend, I'm sorry, in this event. But uh, basically what it is is just a, like I said, it's just a collection event. You can collect different collectibles and, and kind of stuff like that. Um, but they did announce a couple of changes to the map as well as uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Crossplay again, big deal. Xbox One, PC, PS4 will be able to play uh, Apex Legends no matter what your platform starting on uh, starting this fall. Also this fall, they announced that Apex Legends is coming to Switch. So if you play on the Switch and you want to play Apex Legends, that is coming this fall. So it's there for you to enjoy. I hope that you guys uh, are excited about that. I know a couple of people in my circle of, of friends that will be excited about that. Um, they also announced that things like um, Dead Space 3 and A Way Out and Command and Conquer Remastered will all be on Steam. Burnout Paradise Sorry guys, my allergies are trying to kill me. Burnout Paradise is actually available today as I'm talking right now. Uh, so if you want to play Burnout Paradise on Steam, you can do that as of today. Uh, one of the biggest things that they announced um, was that Star Wars Squadron, which really isn't an announcement, okay, it's been officially leaked for a while now, or, or unofficially leaked for a while now. Uh, Star Wars Squadron will be available on October the 2nd, 2020. Uh, it's a single-player and multiplayer experience. Here's how the single-player works, which is interesting. Single-player is uh, basically you create an Imperial pilot, you create a Rebel, or in this case a New Republic pilot, and you play a single-player experience 
um, bouncing between the two factions, which is an interesting take uh, on that. Hope the story is co cohesive when it's all said and done. But uh, what it reminded me of is if you've played any of the uh, Lucas uh, Lucas Arts uh, X-wing series, Tie Fighter series, um, anything like that in the 90s, then uh, or even on good old games, if you've done that, then you'll understand. Uh, there was weapon balancing. When I say that, you had to you have to decide. Uh, you, you know how much energy you're going to put in weapons, how much energy you're going to put in shields, your engines, things like that. Um, there, there is, um, you know, you have to balance your shields out. You kind of like the X-wing series, which was awesome. The entire uh, single-player experience will take place between, uh, obviously, uh, cutscenes and mostly in your cockpit. I expect that because it's a it's a game about uh, space battles, so hey, I'm good with that. Um, just as long as you know what you're getting into. But on the multiplayer uh, experience, you're going to have things like fleet battles, where it's big fleet battles where you take out capital ships and stuff like that. Uh, you can play in a squadron of five people, so if you have a if you have a group of friends up to five people or make some new friends and play uh, together you can do that you can balance out your ship based on the missions that you have you can customize your ship and your pilots um, and they said that all cosmetics all updates and everything can be achieved through gameplay alone no microtransactions now I'm sure there's gonna be some but it won't be required okay so that was their announcement um, but th this game, you know, from from the perspective of I love the X-Wing series and the TIE Fighter series and all that stuff. So from this perspective, I, I, I can't wait to play it. I think it'll be cool. The other thing they announced, obviously, besides the fact that it'll have cross-play. Again, everything in this list has cross-play. Um, uh, everything in this list has, has uh, cross-play. Um and will be available on Steam at some point in time too. But the neatest thing they announced is if you have a PlayStation VR or any VR whatsoever uh, and you want to play uh, Star Wars Squadrons in VR, you can do that. From single player all the way up to multiplayer, uh, everything is completely 100% VR compatible. You will play however you want to. So if you want to play on the TV with the controller or whatever, you can. If you want to play in VR and just stay in VR, you can. That's really, really cool. The only gripe that I have, and this is just a personal preference, the only gripe that I have is that uh, they didn't mention anything about flight stick compatibility. Okay, I think you need a flight stick when you play in a uh, fighter or, or any kind of uh, space combat or anything like that. If you're flying around, you need a stick. And I don't know anything about that, so I'll have to check into that. But that's just a personal preference for me. Uh, they announced that, again, Sims is coming to Steam soon. Um, that was their biggest announcement as far as uh, Sims goes. If you're into Sims, I haven't played Sims in nearly 20 years, so, I, you know, doesn't matter to me. But it might matter to you. So check it out if you're interested in that. Um... Okay, so one of the things that I really, really like about EA, there wasn't a whole, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I really don't have a lot of love for EA. Uh, I used to as a child, because they did things like Bond and Madden, and, and when I say Bond, 007, and, and Madden, and, you know, games that I would play that, that you know, just, I didn't know any better. I was a kid, and I was, um, I hadn't grown up yet, but as of right now, uh, being in the business world and, and being an adult and doing adult things, I don't have any real appreciation for EA a whole lot, which is probably why I'll never be offered a code or anything like that when I get bigger, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. I still buy your games, EA, from time to time, so it's okay. Uh, now, here's the thing. The thing that I do enjoy about them, though, is their EA Originals where they're supporting indie titles and indie developers and indie studios um, because they did take a whole section and announce uh, some cool indie titles one of them being uh, 
uh, Lost and Random, which really stuck out to me. Apparently, it's the world is controlled by a single die uh, from a dice game. You know, like Dungeons and Dragons or, you know, something like that, a role-playing game. But when the die, basically when the die flips, something random happens in the world. And um, certain people are getting tired of all the randomness. And uh, this one particular character finds a sentient die. And is a partner in your world and things like that. So it, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you uh, if you watch the trailer, it just looked like it was both fantasy, humor, and action adventure, which is kind of neat. The idea is that you're going to bring order to the chaos or stop the randomness, and and uh, you know. So I think it's pretty cool that it looks neat. It looks like something I'll be interested in. Um, You know, so I'm going to keep an eye on that one. They also announced It Takes Two, and that one was a little confusing to me. I didn't really quite understand where they were going with that. It apparently is a co-op game. You have two, uh, your two dolls that come to life, and you explore your world. And I didn't catch all of the information on it, but from what I saw in the trailer, it looks like it's kind of like a fantasy. Well, obviously it's fantasy, but kind of like... Uh, real-world locations like clock towers and things like that and you're and you're trying to I didn't catch what the objective was because they kind of glossed over it and then showed a trailer and it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me but I want to keep an eye on it because co-op games are always interesting to me as well as um, you know just different experiences so I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on that and then <coughs> One of the cooler ones uh, was Rocket Arena, which is available on July 14th. Um, Rocket Arena, everything is based on, gosh, on rockets. I mean, duh, it's Rocket Arena, right? Basically, it's an arena shooter. Uh, you try to blow people up and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, everything is based in rockets, so your movement... Uh, your transportation system rocket based your abilities are rocket based your weapons obviously it's got rockets so that was a big thing it, so everything just blows up and you just blow a bunch of people up and it looks cartoony it looks over the top it looks fun uh, and uh, you have different abilities that you can unlock for your characters and um, you know so it just looks like mindless cartoon crazy blow them up stuff so I'm, I'm good with that um, and I might want to check it out however uh, around July 17th is when Ghost of Tsushima comes out and I'm doing a review for that so I, I gotta play that first um, so Rocket Rocket Arena might have to wait but it looks pretty cool it looks it looks absolutely uh, great and fun um, there seemed like there was another one that I missed. I know there was another indie title that I was like, oh, cool, because it's the same guy that did A, a Way Out. Uh, he's doing another title, and I'm I'm ex excited to see uh, what he comes up with because A Way Out was pretty interesting. So it is what it is. All right. Um, other than that, guys, like I said, everything... Oh, oh, yeah. They did announce... The, one of the last announcements that they made, Skate is coming back, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're into the Skate series, that will be coming out. Uh, they don't have any gameplay or anything like that, but they did just make us the the directors and the and the creators of, of Skate came out and announced that there will be another Skate. Just hang on and wait. They can't wait to show you guys, but they don't have anything to show right now. So if you're a fan of Skate, it's coming back, folks. Uh, apparently a lot of people commented and said bring back skate bring back skate and they finally listened so you guys are getting skate back so if that excites you great wonderful I'm happy for you other than that guys that is what I saw that is what I thought about uh, what we saw now don't forget me wrong there was things like FIFA and Madden uh, there was even a little bit of uh, I guess a show of need for speed and and uh, very early development for a first person shooter look like battlefield uh, things like that but you know Don't quote me on that. It may not be Battlefield, but it was just the same stuff. And the only thing that really jumped out at me were the things that I mentioned. If I mentioned, if I missed something rather that you 
that you thought was more interesting, please let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, unfortunately, my wife's going to be working all weekend, so I'm going to be playing some games, maybe, and hanging out until she's done. But, uh, you know, hey, hope you guys have a great weekend. Whatever you do, make sure you're safe, and we'll see you on Monday. Don't forget to uh, like the video, of course, if you enjoyed it. Um, uh, of course, turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever content hits the channel. And of course, follow me on Facebook.com slash Virtual Nunchucks, over on Twitter at VNunchucks, and of course, Twitch.tv slash Virtual Nunchucks. But I'm mostly here on YouTube all the time, and uh, over on my Twitter account. You can always follow me over there and have a conversation with me. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.